Welcome to this Attentional Automation Platform 2020.1 showcase, in which I'll talk about our reduced automation runtimes. Prior to IAP 2020.1, we stored workable tasks in a shared Mongo collection, and whenever any IAP in a cluster was ready to work a task, it would query that shared database and retrieve any task that can be worked next. If there wasn't a task available, we would wait a specific configurable offset and then try to query again. In 2020.1, we've replaced that entire task queuing system with RabbitMQ. That means we have a queue of workable tasks ready for each instance of IAP in your cluster to be worked immediately without ever having to query if there is a next task available and which one that is. The benefits of those are massive. We've seen production automation runtimes reduced by up to 80%. We've seen complex automations that used to take 25 minutes with hundreds of tasks. We've seen that these automation runtimes being reduced from 25 to five minutes. Another thing that I want to mention here is we also significantly reduced query load on our MongoDB so that we have those resources available for the actual queries we still need to make. Let's look at this in a quick working example. I have a very simple workflow here um, to locate devices, one for 2019.3 and the same workflow in 2020.1. What this does, it basically takes in a list of device names and for each of them, it looks up all connection information about which adapter and which softbound system it is located to. It's important to note here that that's not an internal IAP call. It actually goes down to the softbound system, to NSO, to automation gateway, and looks up this information. So I'm going to start this here for 20 devices in 2019.3. And what we can see when I click this link here, a new tab opens. I get to job manager where I see the details of my job. I see I'm in the fourth iteration now. And if I go to visualize, I can actually see those tasks bouncing back and forth. You always see the worked task is the one that has this blue circle around. And we see it bouncing back and forth for each device. We're looking up that device information. Let's look at that same automation in 2020.1. I'm going to start it again with the same 20 devices that are also connected to our IAP instance. And again, I'm opening the job manager to see the job details. And what I see here is all 20 loops have already been completed while I was opening that page within the six seconds from me pressing start to actually opening this job manager page here. So all 20 iterations, all 20 device lookups have already been done. If you look back at our 2019.3 instance and we go back to our details view, let's see how far we've gone along here as well. So we've also finished that job, but it took us one minute and two seconds to complete those 20 um, device lookups. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this really shows how much performance benefit you can gain by upgrading to Attentional Automation Platform 2020.1.